This is Inside Athletics with Toombs County Schools. I'm here with Toombs County High School head basketball coach, Jared Goodwin. Coach Goodwin, thank you for coming and talking to us today. So you're about halfway through your season. Can you give us an update on how the season's went so far? Yeah, it's gone, it's gone really well. We um, started out the season um, playing well, playing against um, some tough teams early on. Um, a few of those games, you know, with the success with football I had, you know, we were missing some guys early on and um, lost one of the games early in the year um, when we had we were missing some guys, but got those guys back after they finished up their good year and we, we've been rolling pretty well. Uh, we won eight games in a row at one point. Um, we dropped the game here to a good team over the Christmas break out of, out of Florida. Um, so both games we've played that we've lost, you know, have been close games, but. Um, we're playing well. You know, we've got some older guys and some and some uh, guys that have been playing with us for the last couple of years that have, that have helped us get going early on this season. And we've played a few region games, um, but we still got a lot of region games left. that's coming up uh, second semester. So, looking at your team this season, who are some guys that are standing out to you? Well, we got you know two two guys um, back from last year that were first team all region: Dominique Eason and Jesus Montero. Um, both those guys are playing well again this year. Um, Dominique's continuing to, to be a big contrib contributor for us. Um, he's having a good year. Um, Jesus is having another good year. Um, Juju Cutler, he's, he's been playing really well for us. He's, he's definitely taken um, a big step this year. Um, Marion James has been doing well for us as well. Parker Stanley has came in. Um, and played really well for us this year as well and, and done a good job inside for us. I mean, we're blessed with a lot of size and athleticism, and we got a lot of guys that we can throw out there on the court. But um, we've got, I mean, Gavin Fletcher came in and played really well. Um, he's, he's getting his legs back under him. Played really well when we played at Vidalia. Um, Mike Polk is just steady at, at the point guard spot. So, um, we've got a lot of guys that have been helping all year long, different guys in different ways and um, different games. So, um, But uh, we're, we're fortunate that we have a lot of good players. Looking at the rest of the season, can you give us an outlook on that and on how you see region play playing out? Yeah, well, I mean, region region games are tough. I mean, we've, we've played three so far, um, and they, they've been battles. You know, two of them have been on the road, so we've been able to get – um, all three games so far, but um, we, we got a tough test tomorrow night at Windsor Forest. Um, next week we'll finish up the first go around of um, the region games um, with Pierce and, and back going through the second time with Vidalia next Friday. So um, it's we, we know every region game is going to be tough. We got a, a good region with competition. Um, you, you know you have to be ready to play every night. Um, whether it's at home or on the road. Um, so we got, you know, three teams in the top 25 uh, of the state rankings with us and Vidalia and Windsor Forest. So three good teams there. And I, I think there's a lot of other good teams that are starting to find um, some momentum as we get going through these region games. But um, it's going to be a battle for us every night. Uh, we've got to come ready. And that's the message we keep trying to preach to our guys, like, no matter who it is, no matter where it's at, we've got to be who we are and be the team we need to be in order to find success on that night. Well, thank you, Coach, for coming to speak to us, and uh, good luck on the rest of your season. This has been Inside Athletics with Toombs County Schools. Please like and subscribe.